How to use time remapping, speeding up or slowing down a clip in Premiere Pro. So, to use time remapping in Premiere Pro, first of all, right click on the little FX square of your clip in the timeline. Then you'll see the option for time remapping and speed. Click on speed. Then expand the selected clip you want to do. Do this by clicking in the grey area here and that will expand it. You can also drag up here and then you have this line. This line represents the speed. So currently the speed is set to normal time. So this is a time lapse so we want to speed it up. So what we can do is drag that whole clip up to let's say close to a thousand percent, so about there. Then when we watch this clip through again we will see if it will play. Sometimes you may have this, you may need to drop the quality, so I'll drop that to a quarter. Now the clip will play at just over a thousand percent. But say this part we want to see the detail. What we can do is we can go hit P on the keyboard or click on the pen tool. Find that, that will create a marker on that clip. Let's zoom in and have a look. So at that point we can now go back to the arrow tool by hitting V on the keyboard and we can lower that to let's say 200%. So then as you can see the clip goes really quick then to about 200% and then we can say right we've seen the detail we want to see there so we stop there we can hit P again create another point hit V again for the arrow key and we go back up to a thousand percent ish and then we, the clip will speed back up at that point also what you can do with these is you can click on the points and you can drag out how the arrow is split into two you can drag that out so it eases in and eases out so then it doesn't just slow down all of a sudden it slows down gradually and it will do the same on the other side speed up gradually and it's a great way to add more interest into your time-lapse clips another thing you can do by clicking on these points is adjust the the curve of them so you can make them bezier or linear however you want them so that's a simple way of using time remapping in Premiere Pro